I would have gone away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. The name's infamous, but you can call me M3 Bullet, and welcome. I'm gonna do a review on Scooby Doo on Zombie Island, one of the most popular Scooby Doo movies out there. It's pretty dark and pretty grim, so you might wanna sit down and enjoy the show. Like, share, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Scooby Doo on Zombie Island, a classic that was made back in 1998. This movie was a masterpiece during its time. Because of Zombie Island, we got direct to video sequels year after year. There's not one year where Warner Brothers don't release a Scooby Doo flick that is made for at home, you know, direct to video and stuff. It's a little more darker than, like, when you watch Scooby Doo, it's like a little lighthearted kid fun, but when you watch this, this is dark, like old school dark. Kind of giving you a horror movie vibe. Okay, it starts out with your typical normal Scooby Doo stuff. They invested in a haunted castle that was haunted by some moke monster. They were basically being chased down by the moke monster that turns out to be some real estate agent that was trying to like count, trying to like hide some counterfeit money and stuff. And that. This was all just a story for, um, Daphne to tell some TV show hosts about, like, her stories with the old gang and stuff. She was basically telling, like, the whole, telling the whole world that from now on, she's going to be searching for real monsters and real mysteries. And the TV show host kind of mentioned the old gang. She kind of got a little sad, but Fred got an idea to get the old gang back together. Shaggy and Scooby were doing, like, some airport security. Scooby and Shaggy were doing some, like, sniffing out contraband food and stuff. And they were watching Daphne on TV, and they were crying and getting upset. Then their boss kind of kicked in, tried telling them to get to work. They basically, well, you know what they do. Thelma was running her little bookshop. Then Freddy hit her up and tell her what's going on. While that was happening... Scooby and Shaggy kind of got fired for eating up all the contraband food. I mean, it's not much of a surprise because, well, they're Shaggy and Scooby. Those dudes are hungry as crap. Freddy hit them up. Fred was picking up Daphne from her house before they got in the car. Well, the Mr. Machine. Shaggy, Scooby, and Velma surprised her. And it was her birthday. They were glad that they all reunited and stuff. Mystery Inc. was back in business. They went on a road trip throughout the entire country searching for real supernatural mysteries, but they always keep ending up with the, uh, you know, the monsters or just dudes in masks. Daphne was a little sad that she couldn't find any, like, real deal mysteries. Then Lena Dupree showed up. She's a shepherd on Moonscar Island. She was basically telling them how the, how the island was haunted by some old pirate dude. The guys went into the mystery sh machine and start following Lena to the ferry place, whatever, yeah, whatever, it's like a boat thing. And that's when we're introduced to Jock. Shaggy and Scooby were looking on the, a ferry to find some need. Lena was shocked that Scooby is a dog, and she's, and Daphne kind of asked, like, is she allergic to dogs or something? But no, her employer has, like, a bunch of cats lying around, she's a cat person. Shaggy and Scooby were, like, chilling for a couple seconds. Then, um, they saw, like, a big old catfish. It's called Big Mona or something. They accidentally fell into the water. And then they got chased down by alligators. Then there was a fisherman named Snakebite Scrubs that basically saved them and got them out of the water, though. The guys made it to the mansion or the Moonscar Island house, whatever, the mansion, whatever. Scooby, he saw some cats, and he, like, flipped out and, like, chased after them. They basically, Scooby basically wrecked the joint, and we kind of got introduced to Bo, he kind of was in the middle of that chaos, then he bumped into Lena, well, not Lena, Miss, uh, Miss Lenoir, or Simone, I guess. Daphne apologized for Scooby wrecking up the place, well, the garden, I mean. Miss Lenoir, or Simone, was wondering why the heck are the guys are even here. Lena basically explained that they were looking for, like, a haunted house, so she thought that she can go to the Moonscar Island and show them that house. Scooby and Shaggy were in, in the kitchen, trying to find something to eat, like they always do. Lena was pouring some glass of lemonade for everybody. 
Velma, Fred, Daphne, and Lena were in this library thing. They were drinking lemonade and asking questions about the house a little bit. They heard a scream from Shaggy and Scooby. They went to the kitchen, but it was just them like re- reacting to the peppers that they were eating. Those peppers were Moonscar Island peppers. They were the hottest peppers in Louisiana. The rest of the guys left the room, but that's when the spooky stuff started to happen. The guys were about to eat like another set of peppers again, but then it started to get chilly. Then the guys started noticing that there was like a carving on the wall saying, get out. And they freaked out again. The guys went to the kitchen again, but this time Scooby and Shaggy were hiding in the kitchen. Well, in the kitchen, I don't know, kitchen closet or something. Daphne and Fred was recording the whole thing, and while they were recording, Fred was recording at Velma that was floating in the air. The guys tried to get her down, but they couldn't, but eventually she fell down, and there was another carving on the wall showing that it says beware this time. The guys were reviewing the footage of what was going on. Daphne noticed that there was something in the picture, then... Fred uses like his Photoshop magic or whatever, video editing magic or whatever. And he starts to notice, the gang started to notice that it looks like a ghost. Simone basically explained that the ghost that they saw, that was the ghost of Morgan Moonscar. Shaggy and Scooby went to the kitchen to get something to eat and take it outside. Velma was still trying to figure out the whole, like what the carving on the wall, like what's the deal with the wall and everything. Velma took a spatula and was starting to scrape the wall with it. Lena started to notice that she was scraping the wall. And when she was done with it, it says Maelstrom. Velma was reading a book that she found out that the Maelstrom was the name of Morgan Moonscar's pirate ship. And Lena, expl- well, Simone explained that this house is quite old. And parts of it could have been used in the construction. And that Morgan Moonscar was rumored to have some sort of buried treasure here. But she said it was never found. And Fred tried to rationalize it and everything. Shaggy and Scooby were chi- were outside chilling, eating the peppers and everything. Like, everything was cool until those cats showed up and messing with Scooby. He was chasing them throughout the whole island a little bit, re- kind of wrecking, causing more damage. Shaggy went after him, too. While he was chasing, while Scooby was chasing the cats, he accidentally messed up most of the snake bites, scrubs, um, trying to catch that fish. So... He sent in his dog, warthog, whatever thing, hunting pig. The pig chased Shaggy and Scooby into like a little hole on the ground. They fell in there and they got trapped there. Then Shaggy and Scooby experienced another supernatural thing going on. The bones that was in the ground, it started to form and it started to become like a zombie. And the zombie was Morgan Moonscar's, well, corpse reanimated coming back to life. They freaked out and they got up out of there. They bump into Bo and they try to tell him that there was a zombie after them. The guys catch up with them, Freddy, Daphne, Velma, and Lena and them. They try to show them like where the zombies were coming from. Velma was getting a little suspicious about Bo. Like why is there like a giant hole there? He told him that they that he was planting something, like some flowers and something, but that hole was too big for flowers to even be planted there. Daphne was digging the gardener do, but Fred said, Hey, why not get the heck up out of here? Daphne was like, nah, like this thing is getting whole interesting and everything. The sun was about to go down and Simone basically told them that the ferry doesn't run at night. It was her idea to like for the gang to stay at her house. The gang stayed the night and like they were getting situated and everything. And while that was going on, Shaggy was getting ready for dinner. But when he was looking in the mirror, he saw like a Civil War Colonel ghost like come, trying to come after him and stuff. They bumped into Lena and Simone again. Well, more like Fred this time. And they showed them the mirror. Simone explained that there was Confederate barracks on the island. The guys get ready for dinner and everything else. Simone tried to tell Scooby that he should eat in the kitchen, but the cats were in the kitchen. She kind of got mad and everything else because Scooby was messing with them again. So Shaggy and Scooby were eating in the mystery machine. They were eating there chilling. The cats were messing with them again. They were driving somewhere else. The gang was still talking about, like, who was really behind this. They thought it may be a front for, like, some oil operation or something. And a lot of that was going on. While that was happening, Shaggy and Scooby tasted stupid peppers again, doing, like, another pepper challenge. 
They, it was so hot that they put their head inside some bayou water, and again and again, the zombies appeared. But this time, instead of one zombie, it was multiple zombies. They were rising up, they were running for their lives, getting the heck up out of there. They ran to Bo, and they were scared that he was a zombie too. But he wasn't, though. The rest of the gang tried to find Shaggy and Scooby, and while they were in the woods, well, the bayou, searching for him, they ran to Bo. He, they were kind of like a little suspicious, though, that Bo did not notice the zombies and everything else. They basically split up into two teams. Velma and Fred went, I mean, not Velma, uh, Daphne and Fred went together to find Shaggy and Scooby, and Bo and Velma did the same thing. They went their separate ways, tried to find them. Fred and Daphne found, like, the mystery machine, and, and it was all empty and everything. Fred and Daphne were kind of bickering on, like, v Daphne liking Bo and Fred liking Lena. Eventually, like, Daphne kind of, like, ticked down a zombie or something. Shag and Scoob kind of showed up. They were still freaked out. Fred tried to un unmask the, the zombie. They kind of, like, they kind of did, like, their normal Scooby-Doo thing. But when the last time Fred like tried to pull the mask off, it head came off. The zombie's head came off. That means the whole thing is real. They were freaking out, more zombies showing up, and a song montage was going on. Shag and Scoob accidentally fell into like a, what was it, a cave? And they noticed that there were like wax dolls that kind of looked like Velma, Velma, Daphne, and Fred. They played with it a little bit, but they were actually voodoo dolls. And they were actually controlling... All of them. Bo tried to get him down, but he couldn't. Something spooked Shaggy and Scoob, and they got up out of there, running away again. The rest of the gang and were at the mansion and everything. The place was empty, the light, the power was out. Fred accidentally slipped into some secret passageway where Lena was hiding out at. It was like some old Civil War hideout thing. But she told him some bull about how, Le how Simone was dragged away and everything. Turns out Lena and Simone were some voodoo werecat cult that can transform into like a werecat. It's kind of like a werewolf, but with cat people. And they were alive for two centuries. Shag and Scoob were at the ferry, well, at the ferry docks. And it turns out Junk was a werecat and he was in on the whole thing with Lena and Simone. Then there was like a little origin story for Lena and Simone, like how they got this way. Turns out 200 years ago... They used to settle on this island until Morgan Moonscar kind of killed most of the people. Lena and Simone were the only two who survived. They enter a curse, but the curse kind of comes at a cost. Because of that, they were cursed to be werecats for all these years. Over the years, they had like a ton of victims. And those victims were the zombies. They were trying to warn the gang to like stay away and try to get them out of there. Lena and Simone tried to drain the gang's life force. But luckily, Sh Scooby and Shaggy like fell back into that cave hole where they found the voodoo dolls. They kind of knocked them over. They kind of transformed them into like a way scarier version of those werewolf forms that they were in a minute ago. The gang fought off the werecats long enough for the for the moon dial to be out of out of alignment, and they turned into dust. Like they were breaking down, and they just disappeared. The, sp the ghosts and the zombie spirits had been avenged. And the whole thing was over. Turns out Bo, the gardener dude, is actually a cop named, what was it, Bo Nebel, that was trying to trying to investigate the disappearance. But after all that, I don't think the cops would believe them. The guys kind of escaped, kind of got up out of the island and everything. And the movie was over. Okay, I got like a couple questions to ask though. What the heck was going on back in the 90s that was so dark? Like, The Addams Family was dark, Hocus Pocus was dark, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Hocus Pocus and The Nightmare Before Christmas, I already did a review on that. If you want to check that out, check it out like later if you guys have a chance or if you guys got time. I mean, I've seen Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island like a thousand and one times, but rewatching this now as an adult, this movie is really really is dark even for like a kid stuff like we seen people get killed like scooby and scooby and the gang actually almost lost their lives for real and there's like a bunch of questions though like why did this i'm surprised that the the police or the government whoever sent bo only one person to investigate the island like 
there was no investigations on that place, and people been disappearing from that place ever since then, and no one didn't bother to even question why, like, there was no investigation, like, what gives with that? Okay, this is a fun fact, this is a little Scooby-Doo trivia. Frank Welker is the original voice from Fred from the 1967 cartoon. This dude is a voice acting legend. He voiced like so many characters. I recommend you guys look him up because he really got a good name on his shoulders. Okay, like what the heck? Okay, this is another question I even have. Like, Snakebite been like around the island. Like, the dude's obsessed with catching a fish. He probably been there for years. That means he probably seen like the werecats and the zombies. Like, okay, through the chase sequence, we seen him like trying to catch that fish. But he'd not seen one little zombie. Like, this dude, like, act like he's not, like, he hasn't seen a zombie or anything. Like, that dude is nuts with that fish. What make that fish so... What make... I don't know. What, what is up with that guy? Oh, and fun fact, the dude was voiced by, you guessed it, Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill. Okay, out of all the Scooby-Doo monsters, the werecats and the zombies... Okay, but mostly the werecats. They gotta be the most scary Scooby-Doo monsters out there, like... It, this is not like your typical normal Scooby-Doo. This time, the monsters are real. I know one thing. If I was on the island, I see a zombie or a cat, I'm getting my ass out of there. Like, out. I'll, I'll be running like Forrest Gump. And like you said, I was going somewhere. I was running. Okay, guys, I gotta wrap this up. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm gonna give Scooby-Doo a zombie island. A uh, rating of, I would say at least seven and a half, though. All right, before I gotta go, I would have gotten away with two if it weren't for you meddling kids. Like, share, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram.